Hi everybody, I'm Vanessa. I'm the OR director here at the Surgical Suites for Dr. Winnegar. And I just wanna go ahead and demonstrate how to do the drain care. Um, the first thing that we like to do is um, milk the drain a little bit in case there were any clots in this uh, tubing. It could um, kind of push those through so that they're not getting um, caught up, the fluid isn't getting caught up in this tubing. You wanna just kind of hold with this hand here and milk it like this. Sometimes it helps to use a little sanitizer just to help it run across. But what you don't wanna do is tug at the site, at the insertion site. So you're kind of holding with this hand and then this left hand is the one that's going down. And then once you've done that, you're gonna open this up and you're gonna see that this um, drain bulb now has got a bunch of air in it. There's actually just a little hair around that I'm gonna get. Um, and you can see here, there's, there's little um, numbers so you can kind of guess what's in there. There's really nothing to empty right now, um, but we do have like a little cup that we give you. And if it were about up to here, you can turn it up and squeeze it out, pour it into that cup and then turn it back up and you're just gonna squeeze really hard with your, not really hard, but just kind of push down with your hand here to get all that air out. And then you're gonna kind of just turn it back on and now you can see it's working again. Um, you wanna make sure that you're washing your hands before and after the drain care. Um, this isn't a sterile um, technique, but it, it is a clean one. So you wanna make sure that your hands are clean um, so wash with soap and water, sing happy birthday twice before and after you do this. Um, sometimes there will be a little leak in the system and this doesn't go back down and doesn't suction down as well. That's not an emergency, but we do want you to call our office if that should happen um, to let us know so that we can get you in and maybe um, see what we can do about that. Um, also, once the dressings are removed, if you, you're noticing any redness around the site or um, any like purulent drainage, like any white drainage from that, we would wanna know about that right away. We don't expect that, but um, that's something you would call our office for too. Um, and you'll do that on both sides, however many drains you have and record it in your drain log three times a day. If there's so much drainage that you need to do it more frequently, that's fine. Just record it in your drain log and make sure that you bring that drain log to your follow-up appointment. And that's it from here. Thanks so much.